Noah began to cultivate the ground and he planted a vineyard. And one day he drank some wine he had made and he became drunk and lay naked inside his tent. I'm not making this up, reading the Bible, people. Why do we have to include this in the Bible? Because it's telling the truth. Because Noah is not painted as some mythological figure who's got it all together. He's actually a lot like you and me. And I've thought a lot about, well, why is this in here? What does this communicate to us? This part of the story is Noah showing up. And perhaps it's this, that grace finds us when we're righteous and blameless and walking with God. And grace finds us when we're drunk and lying naked on the floor. That in our best moments and in our worst moments, God's grace finds us. God didn't say, just kidding, Noah, you're done. Let's move on. Let's rewrite this story. No, he continued to love Noah. And come on, he continues to love us. And we know from Noah's character, it's implied. You know what he did after this? He repented. <laughs> he learned from it. That's what it means to be blameless. But he makes mistakes just like uh, so don't let us feel like, man, we got to have it all together like Noah. No, Noah didn't have it all together either because God has it all together and we can rest in him.